sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. All right, Fuzz Pie Guy here. I'm going to show you how we can listen to like phase one, two information and others by using a RTL dongle, just one, uh, Uni Trunker and DSD Plus. So first thing we'll do is we'll go to radio reference because we want to get a, our control frequency. I'll throw a link in the description to my website for this information, but we'll just click on databases. Then I'm just going to pick out a state here. Then I'll just click on a county. So when you click on your county, if you're in the area that has like Project P25 or DMR or whatnot, <clears throat> what we're going to do is click on it and we're just going to scroll down pick our county so we'll just pick that guy and all we need is the red frequency the control channel so we can just copy that guy now we don't need to see so anyway that's all we need is that guy right there second thing is we need to download the dsd plus in the DSD plus DLL file. So once we have these two downloaded, we're going to need those. We're also going to need our VP audio software. So we'll download that guy. Then <clears throat> we need our uni trunker. So we'll just, uh, Pick the latest software, and we'll download that guy. So that's all the software we need. So the first thing we need to do is turn my phone down. Is we're going to go ahead and open up. Let me do this a different way here. Stand by. Alright, so I just copied everything we downloaded and just threw it in its own folder for the purpose of this video. If you want to do that, that's fine. So anyway, what we need to do is we're going to right click and unzip these. So I'm just going to use 7-zip, but you can use whatever you have. And we're going to go ahead and unzip both of these DSD files. So now that they're unzipped, we're going to open up the DE DLL file and we're going to select all these. Right click, copy, and we're going to paste that into the DSD plus one folder. <clears throat> and there they are. So if we want to, we can rename this to maybe help you out. All right, so we don't really need that folder or that folder again. I mean, that one or that one. We can go ahead and just do a normal install on the uh, Uni Trunker, and we'll right click and unzip. the VB cable then when you double click on that you'll want to use either the 32 or the 64 so once you have that installed and uh, uni trunker installed what we can do is bring up the uni trunker because that's where we need to do our uh, configuration so let's do that <clears throat> well I have already have it so I don't know why I clicked on that. So let me bring it up here. So we'll just open it up. All right, so we have it open. Now, when you open yours up under receivers, this isn't going to be here. Nothing's going to be here. So when you're under the tab for receivers, we're going to click the plus. That's going to bring this box up. We're going to click RTL 2832. <clears throat> now, 
if we enlarge that, as you can see, if my thing keeps stop popping up, we have three VCOs. Let me see here. All right, so hopefully this kind of helps you out here. Once I get my mouse back. Okay, so when we have this other uh, window up here, now up here up top, I got the magnifier on, so kind of maybe this will help out, but once we clicked on the uh, RTL option, we're going to select the RTL, the model we can let go, run we can let go, status we can let go, click on the RTL device and find your RTL that you have plugged in. Now obviously you need to have the uh, driver installed, which I'll uh, throw a link in how to do that. <clears throat> it's not very hard. We're going to put the drift on. Uh, correction, we can let go. We can let that go. We can put uh, auto gain on. We can let the sample rate alert. Now, for the three VFOs, we want to change that to two because we only need two. Okay, so now what we are going to do for that, we're going to select the, select the first VCO. We're going to go back up top. We're going to let this at signal. We're going to uncheck that guy. Check that guy. Then we are going to select whatever speakers for your output. We can let that one go there. We can let these go. Now for the park, that's where we're going to put in our frequency that our control channel frequency so once you have that put in there so for example if it's 495 600 we can just do 495 period 6 enter and there we go we can select analog p25 pro voice we can let these go here and now we're going to move over to the second VCO. We're going to go up here, select on roll, change it to voice. We are going to go and uncheck that guy. And here's where we're going to pick our virtual cable. And we're going to do the same thing for that guy. We are going to go ahead under park, put in the same control channel frequency. We're going to select all three of the analog P25 and Pro Choice, Pro Voice. <clears throat> and that should be it. So if we go over here, close that, we should be back to our window here. Now, let me double check mine to make sure we did everything right looks good i believe we checked everything down here let me scroll down here yes if we scroll down everything's checked and let's do the same thing for the first one yes Everything is checked. So now, if we click on our guy, we hit and hit the uh, start. As you can hear some noise there in the background. Let me turn that down. All right. So now that that's running, let me exit this magnifying thing. All right, so now that we have that off and we are running 
the uni trunker. If everything's good, you should start seeing some things here pop up. Now, I, I'm just using a uh, dual band mobile antenna hooked up to the RTL right here in my room. So, uh, it's not going to do very good. But anyway, that's running. So, if we get that far, we have the run. The uh, run is running. The status is ready. And your box popped up. You should be on... The on the right track so we're just going to go ahead and stop that so now what we're going to do is if we go back here to our DDS plus we're going to start the DDS plus software so now we got a lot of windows here so we're going to bring up our other stuff here let me close that and let me bring up oh thing here we're going to hit play again minimize that where's our box set all right, as you can see here, <clears throat> things are working. We have our control channel working. As you can see here, we got static. We got some noise there. It's going down through here. And we got calls coming in, as you can see over here. So another thing that you might have to mess with is your uh virtual cable but i didn't really have to mess with mine too too much so uh you should be okay uh one way of knowing that is if we stop so many windows here don't know what to do if we stop that and close that we'll go ahead and close that if we just start this again without nothing <clears throat> move this out of the way as you can see here we're going to be using for my setup device one is our virtual cable and uh our output is device one for my uh, speakers that I'm using on my computer. Now yours might be two and three, two and two, one and two, two and one. You know, hard to tell, I can't answer that. But what we can do is do a little script here. So mine is one and one. So we're just gonna go ahead and close that guy. Then what we can do is in our DSD plus, we can right click, new text document, and we could just name this whatever we can say DSD start okay so we can open that guy up and we're going to paste in the following all right so once you have that pasted in there we're going to do a space dash I for input then I'm going to put the number one then we're going to do a space dash O for output and we're going to do another one because like I said mine is one in and one out so we're going to go file here's the important thing save as <clears throat> we have to select all files under type because if we don't it's not going this file is not going to work because we need to make a bat file so we're going to go whatever you want to call it dot bat save so we can close that and now if we look here we can get rid of that one because we don't need that text document anymore but as you can see we have a batch file here so now if we double click that's going to start dsd and it's going to start using the interface one for in 
and interface one for out. So it's going to pick the right audio. So now if we go back to our uni trunker, start that guy again. All right, so now we're back to here. Don't need that one really. So you can see that we got some noise, which is good. Now this is making a lot of noise. You can mess with the squelch because not everybody wants to listen to that racket. If we go back to our setup here, double click. Let's see if I can drag this over. <clears throat> we can go under the first VCO and you can mess with the squelch right here. Now, if you look here, you want your health high as possible. So higher the better. I mean, you don't need to sit here and watch it till the end of time, but at first testing things, you might want to watch it, pay attention to it. You got your RSSI, and like I said, your squelch. So, uh, hopefully this helps out to get you started. Sorry, this video drug on so long, but uh, I made one of these videos before, and I like a year or so ago and I wanted to make another one because I didn't really know as much and obviously I'm still learning new things every day so <clears throat> kind of figured out do another one to hopefully help more people out and be a little more understanding and a little more detailed so hopefully this helps you out to get up and running if you have any issues throw a comment and uh, myself or others will hopefully uh, get back to you and we'll get it squared away so uh, thanks for watching stay tuned for another one